slide. This is um, students, high school students in Talbot County reporting on past 30-day use of alcohol, marijuana, cigarettes, and smokeless tobacco. So as you'll see with alcohol, uh, the 10th um, graders, uh, the uh, alcohol use and past 30-day use went down somewhat, as well as with 12th graders, which is, uh, you know, we're that's good to see somewhat of a trend going down. Um, you will see that alcohol, uh, as we go on through the report, still is the number one drug of choice of young people in Talbot County. Uh, marijuana use uh, stayed about the same with 10th grade in that six year span. Uh, went down somewhat for the 12th graders. Cigarettes went down um, pretty remarkably for 10th and 12th grade. And smokeless tobacco uh, actually increased, which is interesting to see, um, about doubled in 10th graders uh, and stayed about the same with 12th graders. Okay, heroin uh, reported ever in lifetime, uh, heroin use. Uh, we do not have a good uh, measure of heroin use in the past 30 days. We, that was not asked on this particular survey. But we do know that um, the, the 10th graders between uh, 2007 and 2013 it went up um, a pretty good percentage, as well as in uh, 12th graders. And you can see we have 8.5% of our 12th graders uh, reporting heroin use ever in their lifetime. Okay. So obviously the number ever in lifetime will be higher mm -hmm. for any drug. However, with heroin, it, it is not that substantial of a difference that someone who used ever in a lifetime in 30 days, at least in the 20, uh, 2007 data. But I think we you know, really need to be concerned with the 10th graders, it's almost doubled, mm -hmm. you know, in that period. And certainly it's gone up with the 12th graders, but, you know, now we're talking even younger. So. And this is all average of all high school students, grades 9 through 12, uh, where we rank in Maryland in terms of uh, the different substances. So, for instance, with alcohol use in the past 30 days, uh, we are at 31% of high school students. Um, we're number 20 in ranking in the state. Now, wasn't the the last survey from you know seven years ago it said Talbot County was the worst in the state? It was the worst of the state. Um, in, we're, we're up there. I'm saying it was uh, about 60% of high school seniors in the 20. I mean, this is a huge. It is a drop. It is mm -hmm. definitely. It's mm -hmm. definitely a drop. So there is some, you know, cause for some optimism there. Absolutely. Uh, okay. I mean, it's 31 percent too many, but it's a heck of a lot better than 60. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It is still our number one drug of uh, choice by far, but it, there is definitely some good news there. Uh, binge drinking in the past 30 days. Uh, we had 19 percent of our ninth through twelfth grade students report binge drinking of alcohol. Uh, binge drinking is considered uh, more than five drinks in a two-hour setting. Uh, so, um, and I believe um, two-thirds of our students who reported drinking any alcohol at all reported that they were binge drinking. Drinking and driving in the past 30 days, 11% of uh, students in Talbot County reported. Um, ranks us number eight out of 24 counties, so we still have some concern there. And in fact. The alcohol use numbers do seem to be trending downward a little bit, but we are still seeing, um, you know, pretty significant eighth in the state in terms of drinking and driving. And keep in mind that drivers 16 to 20 are 17 times more likely to die in a car crash if their BAC is over 0.08, the illegal limit, which is illegal anyway because they're underage, but that's what they found also in the study. Okay, drinking and riding, this is, um, being in a car with someone who has been drinking as a passenger in the car. The study does not differentiate between is a driver a youth or an adult, um, but 22% of students uh, reported uh, getting in a car with someone who had been drinking. And um, that ranks as 10th in the state. Marijuana use in the past 30 days, um, we are ranked 21st. 18% um, of our students overall, uh, the average uh, report marijuana use in the past 30 days. Um, keep in mind, though, that we're 21st, but uh, there's only eight points 
indifference between the worst in the state and where we are. So it still is a concern. Another concern with marijuana, as we found in the re in our report, is that uh, the potency has tripled in the last 15 years. Okay, heroin ever in lifetime. We rank fifth in the state with 8% of students reporting having used heroin ever in their lifetime. Prescription drugs reported use. Uh, there is no specific breakdown of the specific drugs that mm -hmm. the uh, the survey asks in this in a group of drugs uh, have you ever used? Uh, and this is not prescribed. So this is not using a drug that was prescribed by a doctor for a medical purpose. This is using um, someone else's prescription drugs. And we also know that the majority of prescription drugs that the kids are getting their hands off come from homes, families, friends. And friends, of course, probably comes from homes, family, you know, their families as well. So it's not necessarily, if they're buying it on the street, they're buying it from friends or someone they know anyway. Okay, and then cigarette use in the past 30 days. We've had great success. Uh, we have ranked 13, 13th in the state, um, but we have consistently seen those numbers go down. And then the last page is uh, smokeless tobacco use in the past 30 days, and uh, at 10% of students reporting, that puts us, again, at 10th in the rankings in the state. Um, I think there's, there's uh, obviously, Good news in cigarettes and tobacco. Um, you know, the numbers are trending downward. Uh, we do have reason to be positive about that. I think that our prevention efforts and our uh, joint efforts in the community with many partners are starting to make a dent in some of these numbers. Um, it's very concerning that with the heroin numbers, obviously, we hear a lot about that as well. And we do still have very high rates of alcohol use in this county by youth. It's uh, still, you know, almost half of the 12th graders are reporting alcohol use. I think we have a ways to go in terms of the cultural aspect in the county. I think, um, you know, pretty much every event that is, is uh, conducted, there's still alcohol present every, uh, you know, it seems like we're still trying to chip away at that a little bit. Just that attitude that, that is so prevalent in the county.